rather be smoking weed whenever we breathe. What's up, guys? Your girl Trish Fairy. I'm back with another video. Um, this is a Real Housewives of Atlanta, part eighty thousand of Toronto. Um, I just ate and. My mouth is a little hot, so if I'm like overly breathing, it's because I just made some Thai fried rice and it's pretty spicy. So, episode of course, Star where I left off with Dennis and his re proposal, giving back the ring, whatever that was supposed to be. I don't know. Foo. <laughs> and, um, yeah, so yeah. I don't know. I just, I kind of feel like Candy in that in that aspect, cause I don't even know how I could take. Like, don't ask for the ring back. Like, damn. So you for sure not trying to work this out. Like, I don't know. I I just feel like I would feel some type of way if my man proposed to me and then asked for the ring back when we break up. Like. Would you do, 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 did you not have any plans on fixing this? Like, what's tea, sir? You got me bent in a lot of ways. <laughs> Cause that's just, that's insane. Sorry. I just have to show you cause. Anyway. So, I would throw the shirt back on, but I just made this on and I took a video from the other day. So, yeah, um, I don't know. I just would have felt a lot of type of ways, honestly. But yeah, he re proposed, whatever. So, um, everybody get back on the bus. Kenya is being Kenya, extra as fuck. Somebody watch your shits creep. That's my shit. But anyway, my neighbors watch your shits creep. But, um, yeah, so everybody pile up, back up on the bus, and everybody like, dang, Tanya, how the host gonna leave? Because Tanya stay with her man. Uh, duh. Because, I mean, if it's an option to stay with my man, and I've been drinking all night, I'm going to stay with my man. Period. Like, that's just what's happening. <laughs> we finna go back to the room and have some wild crazy Henny sex, yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, mm -hmm. yeah. Again with <laughs> hormonal, I am. This is the second time sex was mentioned, and I like zoned out. So yeah, anywho, they on bus, peace or whatever, because. Tanya is with her man. So then Kenya get the talking in Tanya voice again for whatever reason. I don't know. Kenya knows she irritates me. I swear to Bob. Like, she just really get on my nerves. So anyway, she asking Portia, like, how does she feel? She mimicking Tanya. Asking them how they night went and all this other stuff. So they decide to, for everybody to go back to Toronto room. So they can find out who the snake gate is. And so everybody get into the room. Honestly, it was just a mess of, of stuff going on. So everybody in the room, Cynthia and Marlo was speaking to each other. Well, everybody like want to know who Snake Gang is. Yvonne pretty much like she not going to say nothing. Then Marlo and Cynthia get into it because Cynthia pretty much over it. She want to know who it is. And she just over it. And Marlo just get the doing too much, yapping. Because that's what she do. She yaps. She dress cute and yaps. So, Cynthia pretty much just like, I don't got to tell for this shit. And I just want to know who Snake Gate is. So, I go back to my room again then. So, Marlo get the um, talking to Cynthia crazy. Cynthia was not going, baby. So Marlo was gonna get over mad because Cynthia wasn't going. And she wanted to talk to him, you don't even talk to your friend like that. 
she wouldn't get that. You don't even talk to your friend like that. But this is just like, we ain't talking about my friend. We're talking about you and how you need to shut your ass up. Stop talking to me like that. That would have been nice to me. But Sissy got her ass right up. Bitch, I don't know. Be quiet and watch your mouth. So then Sissy, like, she about to go. So she leave. Then Nene go get her and try to bring her back in there so they can resolve who did it. So Nene, like, Yvonne just tell everybody who Snake Daddy is. And Yvonne, like, I ain't telling nobody nothing. And Portia, like, um, just tell us, like, why your ass want to sit up here and call us fake? You fake, too, for you to know who in our circle is recording each other and you not saying nothing. So Yvonne want to tell Portia, you need to worry about your man and the animals he fucking. So, you know, Porsche get up and about to get butt. Then everybody just gets yummy, yummy, yummy. Everybody just hollering and screaming and going off and bucking and hollering and screaming and going off and bucking. Too much knocking and bucking for me. But I guess then I don't know why Eva little ass trying to hop up and try to get in between people. She just like, I feel like if I jump in, you know, um, ain't nobody gonna hit a pregnant lady. Girl, if you don't sit your pregnant ass down, stop it. So, anyway, everybody knocking and bucking. Nobody's fighting. Everybody keep, they finna leave, get her out, this, that, and third. So, now at this point, everybody's just pissed because if I don't know who Snake Daddy is, and she not telling nobody nothing. So, <clears throat> that's like really pretty much just blowing the shit out, just blowing the shit out of them at this point because it's like, if you know, just tell us. And then they like asking Nene, and Nene's just like, nope, that's for Yvonne to tell, because Yvonne told me. Then it was like some sticks back about audio and recording, and like, what's the difference? I'm just like, what? Somebody recorded whatever, like that, I don't know, that was just dumb and unnecessary. But yeah, so everybody's still knocking and bucking. People in the hallway, back in the hall, back in the room. Back out the hallway, back in the room. I don't, I don't know. It's just a mess. And if I don't want Nene, won't tell nothing. Then Kenya must have, Kenya must have put her hand in Nene's face. And Nene already can't stand it. I can't stand Kenya either, period. Period. Poop. So, um, yeah, no, absolutely not. <clears throat> I just, she just, ugh. So, Nene went crazy. And, and you know, it's a lot for somebody you don't like to, you know, get the, like, no, bitch, I already don't fuck with you when you got your finger all in my face. I'm finna try to break that shit. So, everybody just holding each other back and all that other stuff and yelling and rah rah. So, <clears throat> anyways. Nothing was resolved. Nobody said nothing. So it's the next day. Nene talking to Tanya um, <clears throat> about last night. Why Tanya get her makeup stuff done? You know they all got to get ready for Carnival. It's the big day of Carnival. So she pretty much just telling her like um, how it was crazy and all this other stuff. And how she got to go. She had to catch a flight. Because she had a flight to catch. Eva had a flight to catch. So she went to Yvonne. I don't know if she's supposed to stay or not. Or she just decided to leave. Because everybody wanted her to leave. And so she packed up and just caught a flight to go home. I don't, I don't really know. I, honestly, I don't know. <clears throat> but she was leaving at the hotel while bad stay. And yeah, so we get to the lobby. You see Tanya all cute in her. But she got a... She supposed to have different feathers, but I guess she got more feathers. So, Tanya, Portia, Candy, Cynthia, Marlo, and Kenya, they all, um, in the lobby pretty much getting turned. Cynthia and Portia was over there taking a couple of swigs at a handy thing. Kenya didn't have no gym shoes. Talking about she ain't had no gym shoes. Bitch, ain't you rich? Go buy some gym shoes. What? So she wore sandals. I don't know. Anyway, um, 
Yeah, so now they all pretty much at Carnival. Turn the up and I'll be back. Because I'm watching them record. I'm watching them record. And so I don't have to try to watch everything at once. And then cut like it's. I just tried that. I only tried this way too. Alright. Uh, Alright. Out Yeah, they at Carnival. Cynthia and um, Ken is on the bus talking, and Cynthia pretty much now I understand where her and Marlo went so left. Because it was just like so much going on, it was like my brain just wasn't catching everything. But anyway, um, so, um, dang, I'm like trying to fix stuff. So, anyways, Cynthia is was upset because Marlo brought up the fact that they was talking about like recordings and audios that's probably why because i had tuned that shit out because it just sounded so dumb to me i'm just like what who cares like this is dumb so trying to like not be like super cut off so i kind of just tuned that shit out because it just was like the difference between the recording and audio and like it just sounded stupid. The recording is recording, whatever, whatever, whatever. That's just stupid. Anyway, so she was upset because Marlo mentioned since they was talking about that, they they went on they reminisced reminisce. They flashed back to the time when Phaedra was on the phone with um somebody and was kinda of talking shit how she said she don't really give a fuck about Cynthia. And then Marlo mentioned the time where Cynthia low key had audio because she had whispered something to Mike. So that shit set Cynthia off because she's still denying that or whatever. I don't know. I don't know if it's denying that. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, that shit had pissed off. So that's how she was mad. Kim was just like, that ain't growing up to see two cuts nobody got locked up before me either. Like, okay, little cent, cent, 50 cent. But 50 Cent was not playing, baby. She was not here for any of that shit. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm Kenny was on the bus talking. Um, yeah, they got lit. They got girls on the bus talking. Kenny pretty much trying to fester up some shit, like, freaking up how Nini handled everything. How did you feel about how Nini handled everything? Everybody handled it food. You... Cynthia, everybody that was in that room had that situation completely food. AF. Like, just so food. Like, it was just dumb. So, anyway, I'm really trying to rush through this. I'm trying not to rush through it, but I'm rushing through it because I really want to finish Demon Slayer. So, that's what we get. <laughs> also, I did not want to do this review because I got new drinks and stuff. All right, all right, all right, all right. So yeah, um, let's see, um, everybody go back to the room, I guess everybody changed, they go to dinner, let's see, um, who got to dinner first, Cynthia and Candy was at dinner first, and the place was called Candy something, it was real cute, so they sitting down and like, they was just talking, what was they talking about? I don't know. They was just talking. Yeah, everybody else pretty much came down. To Tanya. Yeah, Tanya came down. So everybody came down. Everybody kept talking. Um, Milo actually came down and immediately apologized to Cynthia for even making that comment because they was working on their relationship and they trying to be in a better place. I was kind of proud of Milo for knowing that because she was just like, she was kind of drunk. Everybody was drunk. Everybody been drunk this whole time. And you could tell Portia when she came down to dinner, she was still turned. 
he probably goes there and take, you know, a little shot for Henny and shit. So, you know, and she still was just in her glow because she helped Nan repropose and all this other stuff. She come down now. She like, she she came down the middle of Marlo apologized to Suti and she like, dang, we having a um serious conversation because she over. She just want to be lit. She tired of all the serious conversations and all that other stuff. So, then they get on, um, they get to asking Cynthia when, <coughs> they get to asking Cynthia, um, you know, when she finished our party planning and King is like, oh, I'm, I mean, weather planning and King is like, she gonna be her wedding planner, blah blah. Anyway, can get on her. Um, so y'all can. Once I start getting traffic into these videos, yes, I am. I don't like Kenya. She's just too extra for me. But anyways, um, what else was we doing? Oh yeah, they got to talk about the wedding planning, and so then um. You know what? I forgot that I don't point that out. Matter of fact, everybody's trying to get the conversation off to such a heated conversation or whatever. So, what's the name brought up? Like, Italian brought up, like, support, like, business proposals to Portia and all that other stuff. And then Kenya wanna, oh, I wanna bring up how my friend's also about to get married. And all you wedding planning and all that other stuff. <sighs> Whatever. They couldn't even keep the conversation. Not fortunately long enough for her to even really. But whatever. Ken just. Uh, Ken just Ken. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then since they got on a discussion of like weddings and marriages and all that other stuff. Can't be turned to Tanya and ask Tanya, like, you know, um, do you plan on getting married or are you happy where you at? Do you feel any type of way that y'all ain't married yet? Like, what's tea? So, Tanya was pretty much like she feel like her life is perfect. Like, she is fine with where they at. She don't feel like she needs to, she already feel like they married. So, um, for some reason, so everybody just like, oh, okay. So then Kenya talking about she finna play devil's advocate. And Portia like, exactly what I was thinking. Like, oh, you playing devil's advocate with your friends. You can't really play devil's advocate with your friends. That's just called being messy. Precisely. So... Kenya asks the group if, how, how would they feel if um, you or somebody had information on somebody's man within a group cheating? And everybody pretty much was like, shit, I want to know. <laughs> me too. Let me know. First of all, the type of relationship I'm expecting to have I should, he should tell me before anybody else do. I do not want nobody to tell me nothing. You can tell me, don't have me, like, I don't, I'm very, like, I can see myself being in an open relationship, honestly. Just because, I don't know, I'm just open like that. Like, I'm a little bit of a free spirit here. So... Like, you need to let me know. I will let you know what I got going on. You let me know what you got going on. Should nobody be able to come to me with nothing? Like, ain't no sneaking and geeking. You can do your thing. Like, we ain't, we not going to be kicking it with these hoes together. Absolutely. The fuck not. Because, no, absolutely not. But, you know, if you do your thing, you do your thing. And I do, I'm, you got to be. You gotta be okay with that. Like, you can't be out here doing your thing and thinking, like, I'm not gonna. Nope. Just like you can like multiple people, so can I. 
But anyway, back to what I was saying. So yeah, everybody pretty much was like, I want to know, because I was too. Like, I need to know who, what, where, when, and why, you know, because I would just like to know. And yeah, so everybody said yeah. And Cynthia was pretty much like she felt uncomfortable a little bit because she know why since um, Kenya decided to ask that question because they was at the cookie place. It's called a hot cookie. It's cute. But it's like hot as in H-A-U-T-E. But yeah. So um, the lady who owned the shop said um, that Taya Man tried to propose to her. So... I don't know how that happened, but um, oh, I do know how that. Happened. So I guess she said they was at the club, whatever. He tried to holler at her. Um, she said that she wasn't, but then they saying that she exchanged numbers. So I don't really know. Confused. Not gonna play it back because it ain't that deep. So um. They asked Tanya, like, so Candy apparently know because Kenya told Candy. And you hear me, boobs. So Candy, yeah, she know because Kenya told Candy. And that's about it. So Candy asked Tanya, how would you feel if you felt, everybody pretty much was like, you know, going across kind of sort of. I would have, okay, so, I, the only thing about, this is why this review and shit might be a little difficult for me, but I'm still finna try it, especially because I just be having so much to say while I'm watching it, and I be watching other people's stuff to see what they're gonna say, so I might as well record, but I was just a little confused because they decided to ask Tanya, how would you feel if, you know, your man, if you found out that Paul was cheating? I would have been instantly like, what made you single me out? Like, why you ask me? Why we ain't asking everybody? Because this just don't make no sense. But then again, Portia was like, uh, no, nah, that was in the confessionals. Because they pretty much was like, oh, it's the dentist. But she was like, hell no, nah, he ain't that dumb. He already was just caught cheating. So my thing is, is like, they kind of immediately just asked Tanya, so I don't know if that was their way of kind of trying to throw it out there or what, but I don't know. <laughs> out of it. Why you asking me? What, what's going on? Do y'all know something? And then I would have been watching this back if I was telling y'all, I would have been mad at everybody. So all y'all know this shit and nobody's going to tell me. But then again, at the end of the day, I've been in a situation where that happens and a lot of, hey, I'm still hurting. But anyway, so a lot of the times a female kind of don't want to hear that because that hurts them or, you know, they feel some type of way and they know they don't, they don't want to lead a man. So it, it's just a lot to it. So I don't know. Actually, I don't know if I would fail or not either, but being on a TV show, I would. I'd be like, let me call my producers at the know for now and have lunch for her and tell her like, we we'll off the bed. And it ain't like I'm lying or nothing because it was a camera then when that happened. So, I mean, that was pretty much the episode. These episodes seem like they go so fast. And then it seemed like it'd be a whole lot of nothing. So it'd be like a whole lot going on, but then it'd be a whole lot of nothing going on too. So, yeah, but Tanya did say she'd be, you know, heartbroken about it. She got all her men, passwords. And all that stuff, so you know, whatever. But nobody told her, they just hypothetically, of course, that situation to death. And yeah, so next week episode looked a little more interesting. And I knew it, I think Kenya don't like Tanya. I got a feeling she just don't. I think she either jealous in her life or something, and that's just gonna come out next week. But, um, yeah, next week seem a little juicy, juicy. So, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and supporting me, girl. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, if you want to or whatever. 
Um, I could say thanks for supporting me. Thanks for supporting me, girl. I will keep that or whatever. Sorry that the lighting is trash and y'all got titties. <laughs> but look, I want my channel to be as real and realistic as possible. If you rock with me, you're gonna rock with me. If you rock with me with my channel, you rock with me in real life, period. Because it's pretty much the same. <laughs> I don't think, like, because there'd be times I'll be in the house and I didn't like to have people over and I'm just like, look, I don't have on shirts. I don't have on clothes. So I'm just going to either have a t-shirt and some um, boxer briefs or I'm going to have on pants and no shirt and a bra. Like, just says what it is. I want to be comfortable in my own home, recording or not. And I'm not about to be that one that's just be like doing all this makeup and wearing outfits, wasting makeup and outfits to record. Sometimes I will. Once the finances and, and I can just do stuff like that and it's in the budget, sure. Because I know I'm going to help with views and stuff like that, but right now it's not in the budget. And for two, I don't want it to, I don't want my channel to seem so, like, I don't know, like sometimes that, that just becomes people's channel and then it has to become their life because that's what people are used to. I want people to get used to me. And I want to show everybody that you can get on and like and you can you know people can rock with you just by you being yourself like it's very very powerful big guys love you guys for supporting me and watching and all that good stuff i appreciate you <laughs> all right peace in the middle east